the iPhone 14's got a big secret. It may get a total redesign, some massive camera upgrades, no notch at all, and maybe a whole new model. The announcement of the M1 Ultra raises an interesting question, and that is, what could Apple do with the Ultra moniker on some of their other products? Could the iPhone 14 Ultra, if it was to exist, destroy Android, Samsung, and the rest of the smartphone landscape? Actually, I think so. Let me explain. And a big thanks to Evo Wera for sponsoring this video. Now, this might be a little bit of a hot take here, but the recent iPhone 14 rumors have been a little bit, well, less than exciting. The big redesign we thought we were gonna get looks less and less likely like it's actually going to happen. Also, there will not be a USB-C port, we're not gonna get under display touch ID, and the notch isn't gonna be there on the Pro models, but this double hole punch doesn't look like it's actually gonna save us as much space as we originally thought, so it basically is about the same. But again, this is not a bad thing. Let me be clear that I am still very excited for the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 14 Pro. These phones are gonna pack some really exciting upgrades with the camera, with the processor. These are gonna be great and I'm super excited, but it sort of gets you guessing, what if Apple was to roll all of these things we'd want into an iPhone 14 Ultra? Let's dissect some rumors and some leaks and dream for a second on what this iPhone Ultra would actually look like and what it would do. It sounds sort of made up, but now, as we sort of go more into 2022 and we sort of see Apple's roadmap, I don't think an iPhone Ultra is that much out of the question. And there are five things that an iPhone 14 or an iPhone 15 Ultra could pack that would make this an unbeatable iPhone that would really be one of the biggest upgrades, if not the biggest upgrade, the iPhone has ever seen. The first thing this iPhone Ultra has to have is of course, no notch. Get this hole punch, double hole punch, pill shaped cutout out of here. I'm talking no obstruction on a big, beautiful, high quality OLED panel. That's what I want. Whether Apple does face ID in the bezel or they put it under the display, this would be sort of the perfect iPhone that many of us have long been waiting for. Now I should say that we've actually heard some new rumors just a few days ago that Apple is planning reportedly for the pro models of the iPhone 15 to remove any hole punch punch notch cut out entirely and move face ID under the display. We had heard this a few years ago, but uh, display analyst Ross Young says that this is not going to be the case. He expects the double hole punch system to remain at least on the iPhone from 2022 and in 2023. But I definitely think that this just makes so much sense. You could enjoy your content. You could play games, watch videos, record uh, videos on your iPhone without any obstruction on the screen. I know a lot of you guys don't mind the notch all that much. I don't even mind it myself either. And I'm curious to see sort of how this double hole punch system works on the 14 Pro, but I do think having no obstruction on the screen at all would definitely be preferred and the way to go on this ultra version of Apple's highest end iPhone. And also while they're in the business of putting things under the display, why not bring Touch ID under the display as well? Now, curiously, we have seen Apple add Touch ID to the power button on some iPad models, but they have yet to do anything like that with the iPhone. We had heard that maybe they could do this with the iPhone SE 3, well, that's past, the iPhone SE 4, but that is yet to be determined. And there has been some speculation that maybe Apple could do this with the iPhone. What I think would be way better and what we've seen Apple even patent themselves is sort of not only Touch ID built under the display of the iPhone, 14 Ultra, but sort of having this entire zone, this entire area, maybe the uh, bottom 25, 30% of the screen would be an entire Touch ID zone that you wouldn't have to get your finger in this precise spot to get it to unlock and work, but you could put your finger anywhere in like the bottom quarter, bottom third of the display, and it would unlock and work just like magic. I'm sure that Apple is testing this and they're working on this now, but having not only under display Touch ID, but also under the display Face ID would sort of be like having the best of both worlds. You could use one, you could use the other, you could use both, you could lock your iPhone 14 Ultra down like Fort Knox. Just having the choice and sort of having the best of both worlds would be really, really cool to see. And something I think Apple has been testing, maybe they're not gonna do it, maybe they are gonna do it, but definitely on an Ultra phone, makes a whole lot of sense. The next thing I'd love to see in an iPhone 14 Ultra is some kind of change to the design. The iPhone 14 is rumored to have a really great design, even if it does stick with the iPhone 13 design language. But even more than that, I'd love to see something different. Maybe this is Apple sort of giving us that iPhone 4 style design that was rumored to come to the iPhone 14 Pro. Maybe we see sort of something different with a larger screen. Maybe Apple goes from a 6.7 inch max version to a seven inch or 6.9 inch version with the Ultra. That'd be super cool. Or even more than that, maybe the Ultra moniker 
That is the name that Apple uses to introduce their folding phone. We know Apple is working on a folding iPhone. We know that it's supposed to open up to this large, beautiful, high quality display. We don't know much on this, but some kind of form factor change would be really cool to see. Maybe for some of you guys out there, you want a QWERTY physical keyboard, sort of like a Blackberry. We've seen some concepts of this. I don't know how practical this actually is, but it would be cool to see some kind of design overhaul with the Ultra to really separate it from the other phones in its class. Because even now, the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pro for better or worse, they're going to look about the same. And that's sort of how the lineup has been for years and years. What if the Ultra, sort of like the iPad Pro, was a step above? Like back in 2018 when the iPad Pro got redesigned, that was a design unmistakably pro, that was premium, that was flagship. Maybe Apple could do something similar with the iPhone 14 Ultra and really separate it from every other iPhone model they currently and will eventually sell. Now, before we continue building out our perfect iPhone with the iPhone 14 Ultra, I want to take a quick break and show off a really awesome product made by this video sponsor, Evo Wera. Let me introduce you to the Plank 01. This is a high-tech adaptive sonic electric toothbrush here to totally transform something we all do every day and that's brush our teeth. From the sleek design to the light and the charging base, the attention to detail here is just so cool to see. Plus what's really cool here is that the Plank 01 packs a full color display, gives you easy access to menus, lets you see the time, the weather, and also real-time data like your coverage map as you actually brush your teeth in real time. As you can tell, this is not any ordinary toothbrush. Packed with a bunch of super advanced tech inside to really customize the brushing experience to you, your mouth, your teeth, and to make sure it's perfect for you. The Plank 01 comes packed with five different cleaning modes, plus an adaptive cleaning mode that'll record and analyze your teeth cleaning habits and intelligently make a cleaning mode custom for your teeth. Packed inside is a HyperMag industry-level PMSS motor, equipped with field-oriented control and closed loop control. 42,000 RPM of increased power with reduced noise also makes it powerful, but also quiet. There's also the companion Evo Era app that gives you access to all the data the Planko One collects, including the ability to mark sensitive areas so you can reduce the possibility of pain when brushing, and with about 28 days of battery power on a single charge and a high quality rounded bristle designed to remove debris and protect your gums, the Planko One is simply an amazing high-tech toothbrush. It's an amazing toothbrush that you gotta check out for yourself today. So again, if you wanna learn more and check it out for yourself, hit that link right down below. Another area Apple could really focus on with the iPhone 14 Ultra would of course be the camera. Now, to Apple's credit, they make basically the best photo and video camera out there on the iPhone. Uh, the iPhone 13 currently is taking some of the best photos and videos on smartphones. We could debate this in the comments, but I am very happy and very pleased with the photo and video performance on this phone, and that should be getting better with the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pro. But what if on the Ultra, Apple really doubled down? They not only gave you more megapixels, maybe they gave you a larger physical sensor. Maybe they gave every lens sensor shift stabilization and didn't restrict it to just one or two, but they really gave them to all of them. And maybe they could add some more pro-end hardware and software to make that camera system even more versatile. For example, something I know many would love out there is more optical zoom range, that beyond just the 3X, what if you had 5X, 10X, 20X? And we know Apple is testing this periscope technology for their optical zoom that should come next year with the iPhone 15. Would it be cool to see something uh, like that on the Ultra iPhone and even beefier camera system? System. Maybe it records 6K or 8K. It does a higher end ProRes video. Not exactly sure what Apple could do because they've already are making a really great camera system, but let's see them take it up a notch even more with the Ultra iPhone and really add even more capabilities to make this undoubtedly uh, the best camera system on a phone ever to exist. This next one, of course, is very obvious, but I just have to say it just because it can't go unsaid, and that is USB-C. Apple, like I mentioned before, they love to tout USB-C when it's convenient for them. With the iPad Air and the iPad Pro and the MacBook Pro and the Mac Studio, USB-C is like the one port to rule them all. It's capable, it's versatile, it's fantastic. But with the iPhone, it's always mums the word because Lightning has, and seemingly for the foreseeable future, will remain the port of choice for Apple on their iPhones. But what if with the Ultra, Apple decided to change that? And I know this is certainly not for everyone. It's probably more of a niche thing up there with the pros and those who really want the higher and phones, but if you're paying presumably more money for an iPhone 14 Ultra, it only makes sense that you finally get USB-C, right? Something else to consider with an iPhone 14 Ultra is the chip inside. Does this get the latest and greatest mobile Apple Silicon, the A16 or the A17 next year, 
Or does this iPhone finally move over to the M line of chips and either get the M1 or the brand spanking new yet to be released M2? And before you comment down below, I know that there are a lot of uh, practical and technical reasons why an M series chip in the iPhone doesn't make sense right now. It's very battery hungry. I'm not sure if you could really harness the power of that chip or it even makes sense in a phone this small. Um, there are many reasons why an M series chip is not going to happen with the iPhone 14 or the iPhone 14 Pro. Those are gonna stick with the A15 and the A16 respectively. But dreaming here for a second, with the iPhone 14 Ultra, let's say Apple cracks the code. They give you an M series chip in this phone what could that do that would really make it special and really make the phone ultra? Well, I think besides blazing speed, performance, and efficiency, something that would be cool to see is sort of a Samsung deck style thing with the iPhone 14 Ultra, that because this has an M series chip inside, what if there was some way you could dock this phone, whether wirelessly or wired, to a display keyboard or mouse and get the full Mac OS or maybe iPad OS experience? Apple has patented this technology. They're obviously working on this internally, not sure if it's ever gonna see the light of day. Companies all over the world have tried and failed to make this phone as a computer thing happen, but it would be cool to see Apple spin on this. What if you could really just wirelessly uh, connect this to a monitor and get full-blown Mac OS with Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, all that stuff? It'd be really cool if you could run Pro on apps on your phone and also dock this to a larger display and keyboard and mouse and really get a full Mac OS experience running right from this thing that goes in your pocket. And again, I'm not sure if this Ultra moniker is ever gonna go beyond the processor. Maybe it's just M1 Ultra, M2 Ultra, and that's what Apple calls it. But maybe there's space here for Apple to do something else. Maybe there is a MacBook Ultra and an iPad Ultra and HomePods Ultra, HomePods Ultra, HomePod Ultra, whatever Apple calls it, AirPods Ultra. What if there is room here for an even better experience that maybe doesn't always have to break the bank, but does give you a super premium experience at probably more of a premium and price tag for those of you out there who want the very best and the latest and greatest from Apple. Would you want an iPhone 14 Ultra, an iPad Ultra, a MacBook Ultra? Let me know your thoughts on all that stuff down below. How many times have I said Ultra in this video? Someone should count it out and let me know down below. Uh, though I'm curious uh, what you guys uh, have to think about this. What are your thoughts? What would you love an iPhone 14 Ultra to look like? What would it have to do? What would really make it worth the money in your eyes? Let me know your thoughts down below and what you think this Ultra lineup could mean for Apple. Uh, as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And as always as well, thank you guys so much for watching the Apple Circle. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm Robert Rosenfeld, and I will see you all in the next one. One more ultra there for good measure. Ultra. There's two.